This program is brought to you by Hanson Honda, your hometown Honda dealer at 5301 East Main in Farmington. Since I was a kid, I've been a motorcycle and car enthusiast, and over the years, my buddies have said, why don't you pinstripe? And once I tried, I just dove into it with all four feet and haven't looked back. Obviously, it's an art form, but it uh, works within the tradition of motorology and motorcycles and cars. It can make the car the vehicle appear to be lower or even longer because it has a horizontal line that kind of grounds it. it. It kind of brings some tradition back that you can't get from just, oh, I'm gonna buy this and either bolt it on or stick it on. Yeah, I think the oldest vehicle I've done was a, a 25 Buick based on the pinstriping that was done at that time because it was a restoration. Then I've done anything from you know, hot rods, street rods, customs, all kinds of motorcycles. Also done uh, uh, pinstriping on a Prius. And because the gal that owned it said I was tired of walking up to the wrong one. I wanted to have this one tricked out just enough so I could walk up to mine instead of someone else's. The paint flows out of the brush. The design flows over the, the surface. They're like uh, phrases or licks on a guitar where they're, they're not the same song each time. They're a different one from vehicle to vehicle and surface to surface. And they uh, achieve as little or as much as the owner of the vehicle really wants to pull out. If you'd like to see more of Kirk James' pinstriping projects, visit kirkjames.com.